All right, hello everyone. So today we're getting onto a, another component of our build, a major component, and that is the charging system of the car so we can run 12 volt and 240 volt items out in the bush. Finally got this panel done. Yes, you can keep cracking on with the battery box now. Here we are at Armadale Auto Electric. Doing here basically, he's got, got all the red up gear set up, perfect for his, for his rig. Today's the day, uh, in LC, we're just off the guy right now, and uh, we're gonna try and get our blue slip, uh, which means we can register it. So it's a pretty thorough inspection. Um, hope we've got everything ticked off. Um, so yeah, we just really hope it passes, but otherwise it doesn't, and we'll just get whatever uh, needs fixed and go from there. Well, we went to Gara and uh, we got the blue slip. We're registered. Oh yeah, we got our plates. We didn't get custom ones because they're so bloody expensive, but we just got these, which is ew. <laughs> <laughs> Very fitting. Ew. <laughs> we got it. It's registered, baby. After all those months driving across the country, and it was just an absolute hunk of junk, doing all the work ourselves. We've done it, and we did it, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm amazed. Passed flying colours, no issues, so. Let's start travelling in it. Holly, what do you reckon? I'm excited. I didn't think it would happen, to be honest. Yeah, I just sort of, I mean, working on it that much, and I just didn't feel like, you know, you sort of like, so sick of worrying about it like i was just thinking about it and i was like oh this isn't gonna pass and it's gonna be pulled up for this and all mm. this stuff and you're just working on it for so long and you're doing so much stuff you just never think it's gonna you're gonna see the end of the end of the process the you know, light at the end of the tunnel you just think it's never gonna you're never gonna get anywhere with it but here we are it's registered and she's going pretty well and we've got the camper build out all done yeah we just got to put it all together and Start travelling in it. Get going. You Got a uh, monumental moment here. Putting on the brand new number plates. The, um... Ew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, beautiful. It's nice in the ARB bar. Still plenty of room for a winch under there. Perfect. Makes the car look so much more complete. All right, I'll whack this one on the back. Done. All right, we've got a really exciting bit now. So all the build out that we've been doing for the past uh, two weeks, um, now we can move it all into the car and just the sizing and space. We start screwing it all in, making sure it's nice and steady and stable. And uh, yeah, seeing how the camper fit out looks in the back. Um, I'm going to plumb the tap up to our water tank, our front runner water tank in here, and yeah, we'll come together. Alright, uh, so as we know, in a troopy like this, storage uh, options 
really make or break the setup um, because there's just there's not much room I mean they're a big car but when you're trying to have a setup that's sort of everything in one you know your sleeping area your kitchen storage all your gear it really um, disappears quickly so having some good storage options is essential we uh, have got some gear from Navigator Gear so Navigator Gear specialize in sort of a lot of storage op options camp storage options um, but they also do camp chairs little side table heaps of cool stuff so check them out uh, but I'll run through some of the gear that they've got. So this is what we've been sent. Um, we've got here a kitchen buddy. So it's just a nice little unit where you can put all your knives, forks, spatulas, cooking equipment, herbs, spices, sort of everything you need in a ni nice, neat little package. Folds up, um, you can store it easily and you can just grab it out and you've got everything. And then you can hang it up on, say, a back door like this. Uh, so just really nice little storage option there for your kitchen stuff. Keeps it all in the one spot. Moving on. Uh, this is a new product from them. As you can see, nice little bag, but what is inside? We've got a shovel. So it is a super, like super lightweight. Like this thing weighs absolutely nothing. Um, you can have the short handle, you can have the extender handle. So. Digging yourself out, campfire, everything like that. Everyone needs a shovel, so just having a super small little option like this uh, is really handy. Something that's easy to keep in the car all the time, I think. Um, so that's a really great option. And, and also, just being such a lightweight, I mean, obviously, keeping your car as light as possible is, you know, a massive plus. So stuff like this really helps. All right, they've just got general storage bags, really high quality. It's got a little Velcro tab. Um, this is just mis miscellaneous, but they come with all different tabs, so you can label it electrical or anything you want. So that's really handy. So general storage bags. I mean, if you want to put some dirty gear in here, you know, maybe a few snatch straps, D shackles and stuff like that. Uh, label it and then keep it all nice and contained and in the one bag so you can just grab it out. And you don't have to feel around in drawers. Perfect. Moving on. Uh, I'm really excited about these ones, actually. These are their seat buddies. So they're a customizable um, back of the seat organizer. So you strap these onto your front seats, um, perfect to our troopy because obviously being sort of the, the way the doors are configured, for me to get to this, I just have to get out of the car and I can move my seat forward, fold it forward, and then I, this will be sitting there and I have all the access to whatever I want to put in there. So on my side, I'm probably going to be putting uh, maybe like an Atlas, uh, my EPIRB, head torch, um, all my sort of like little emergency things I might need to grab in a quick you know, quick situation, or I could probably even fit a bit of recovery gear in here, snatch strap, so that's really handy. Uh, Holly's side might be a bit different, she can put whatever she wants in it, but we're thinking maybe like toothbrushes and I don't know, a few things like that, toiletries, hairbrush, Holly's doing that, <laughs> saying hairbrush. Cool thing about these seat buddies is that they're customizable, so these pockets are all removable, uh, and you can put whatever you want. So I know that they've got like iPad holders. So a lot of people with kids, um, if they're doing the long drives, put the iPad holder in, he holder in here. Kids can watch whatever they want. That's a massive plus. Um, so yeah, and again, just the, the build quality is, is unreal in this. So beautiful. So this little guy here is your dash buddy. So it's just got these Velcro tabs that uh, have an adhesive bottom. So you can put this on your dash. Just put your little things, sunnies, whatever you want, pens, paper. Um, again, just a handy little thing to have, especially in this car. There's just no like little nooks and crannies and storage options. So yeah, having it's really handy. Um, and then this one here, uh, which is a visor buddy. So it just slips onto your visor and you just got all these little elastic tabs. Again, you can put whatever you want. Again, head torches, things that we use sort of all the time. Um, I reckon we could fit a mirror in there for Holly. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, really getting the 40s screaming into the modern age with storage options like this. So yeah, thanks Navigator Gear. Uh, it's like genuinely going to be handy this stuff, like I know it is. Um, and just, just makes everything so much easier when you're travelling, having dedicated storage options. Yeah, it's a good idea. So I can't wait to sort of road test it and I'll tell you how it is on the road and what's, what's really working for us or not working for us and yeah, can to give it a go. There we go, show us how that sits on there. Beautiful. That looks good. Yeah, it does. It's very good. Happy. <laughs> Alright, so this clips around the headrest. 
chest. That I am guessing. Yep. I think it's worth noting as well, we're um, pretty keen to change these old seats. I don't know what they're off, but they're ancient. Mine's just horrible. <laughs> We want to put XR6 seats in, uh, the Utes specifically, because they have a lever which folds them forward. And uh, uh, Hurricane, Hurricane, I think they're called, uh, Fabrications do uh, mounting kits that bolt onto the XR6 seats and then will allow me to bolt the seats straight onto the 40 series body. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Storage options, love it. <laughs> love it. I like storage. <laughs> Fridge is in. Beautiful. That's the kitchen buddy hanging on the door there. We just made some pretty ugly little hooks to put it on, but that's perfect. So we're actually going to have a little kitchen table top that's going to be put on our drawer there, just here. So we'll have our kitchen here that we can quickly hang up. Quick little table top with a little burner if we want to put on it. And yeah, easy. <laughs> and navigator gear, magnetic, magnetic. Stop all this. You like Pretty, that? I do like that. If you like the look of any of the navigator gear, you can jump onto A247's website and have a look at the range. At the checkout, if you put in the code OLT, you'll get $10 off orders over 70, or OLT20 gives you $20 off on orders over 100. And we also get a kickback for the sale, which helps us with our channel. Link for A247's website is in the description below. That obviously it's taken us two weeks to make it, but now that we have the car back, we're just slotting it all in and it's all working. It's lovely. <laughs> it doesn't usually happen. <laughs> so this is our middle section, which will bridge the gap for the bed. And when it's not in its up position for the bed, it'll just be the piece on the floor. So yeah, and it slots in really nicely. Oh. And these are some of the last bits. Holly chose this fabric from Spotlight. It's got Oh, I, I did. I like it. Yeah. I do like it. Native, um, it's got native um, flora on it, which is quite nice. And the colours are good. It's got a little bit of sandy top beige in there. So yeah. perfect. And I said Holly made these, so. High school textiles. High school textiles. Really helped. <laughs> to the, for the win. <laughs> so these are sort of um, privacy curtains, not just for the sides, but sort of for the uh, back and front section as well. All right, uh, we've packed up the shed, gave it a bit of a clean up. Almost everything's in the car, well, sort of most of the build out. We've just got the cushions to go in. Uh, and then we've got to fiddle around with all our camp gear, all the little tiny items, and we'll have to sort of mess around with that and see what works best. We'll probably put our big storage box up top just because we're going to need it. Um, and yeah, but it's all in. The car's sitting pretty well. The weight's not too bad in it, so it's yeah, sitting fine actually. So. Yeah, really happy. Hello everyone. We are uh, doing something pretty exciting today. We're swapping pretty much all our camping stuff from our canopy over to the Troopy. Uh, and just sort of, yeah, getting the camping set up sorted out and seeing what gear uh, will fit and where we're going to put it. Uh, I've just put this on the spare wheel as well. It's just a dirty gear bag. These things are awesome. Um, if you're traveling around, just put rubbish in, stuff that smells or just even collecting a bit of wood, something like that. So these are great. Got our Red Roads camp chairs here. Um, awesome for the Truby, so you can see the size. Um, we've done a review on these, these are unreal chairs, we love them. And they luckily fit in this little drawer here, which we'd planned for our camping gear, so that's good. It's in there like that. We'll probably fit the hammer and stuff in there as well, I reckon. Hopefully. That's happened. <laughs> doing there, Hull? Just filling up the kitchen buddy uh, with some stuff. When we travelled around Australia before, we had heaps of 
we had heaps of stuff so we're just going to keep it minimal, two of each and yeah, keep it nice and simple. What's doing there? Just filling up the water, then we're going to test out our <laughs> yes, our hand tap over yep. there. This is our little water, so we've cut out a little section so we can fill the water up. Mm. Uh, and then I've also got another hose, so I've got access to water from my side if I need it. Take a couple to fill her up. It's working! See some amount comes out? Yeah. Cool. Just check it. So, what are we up to right now? We're packing Elsie. We are packing her up and getting her ready for not her maiden voyage, that was uh, us driving across Australia, but our maiden voyage after all the messing around we've been doing for months. We've got one more thing to do, and that is our OLT sticker. A huge thank you to all the companies who worked with us on this project. Also to our patrons, you guys allowed us to make this happen. First water crossing in Elsie. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We hope you all enjoyed watching our build videos and are now excited for some travelling videos with Elsie. Subscribe so you don't miss anything and hit that thumbs up button as well. We'll see you in the next one.